Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Breakdown Automotive. Today we're going to be talking about our BMW experience. And not necessarily this car, but the one that we had before this, which was the 2011 BMW 750 Li xDrive. And if that doesn't make you sound like an asshole, I don't know what will. Before we jump into this video, I just want to say if you enjoy automotive content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and don't forget to leave a like below if you enjoy the video. But for now, let's go ahead and jump into why we ended up with the BMW 4 Series and no longer have the BMW 750 Li xDrive. So back in October, 2016 it was a busy month actually we bought the Range Rover and then we bought the 7 Series both were 2011 model years and the Range Rover ended up being a pretty good car however the 7 Series was a completely different story now we bought the car in Atlanta or actually Gwinnett which is right outside of Atlanta from a Suzuki dealership which was mistake number one somehow we managed to buy a BMW 750 Li from a Suzuki dealership now if that really doesn't scream dumbass I'm not too sure what does the really funny thing about this dealership actually is that they went out of business shortly after we bought the car there for other people experiencing the same problems that we experienced there but that's a completely different topic and we'll get into that another time if you're wondering that dealership was Gwinnett Suzuki and the dealer we used was Corey thank you Corey so thanks to Corey at Gwinnett Suzuki, we found a 7 Series, and it was awful. However, the only flaw that was noticeable at the time was a little piece of interior trim that had fallen off. No big deal, put it back on and you're good to go. Unfortunately, that piece never got put back on. And that's mainly because of all of the other issues that we ran into with that car. Now before you jump to anything, I just want to say we did have the car inspected at a BMW dealership in Atlanta, United BMW, and I really despise that dealership because they did not point out anything I'm about to mention aside from the three rust arms and the engine oil leak. Go BMW. After purchasing the car for way more than we should have paid for it, we brought it back up to Tennessee on a four hour drive and on the way back a rock slammed into the windshield which really was just a bad omen for all of the shit that was about to happen over the next few months that we owned the BMW 750 Li xDrive. So a few weeks after that it was time for an oil change. No surprise it is a BMW and we also noticed that there were some issues with the alignment which we thought could be caused by the control arms that had not been fixed properly. So while the car was supposed to be fixed after we had the pre-purchase inspection taken back to Gwinnett Suzuki, we asked for these two little things to be fixed, the engine oil leak and the control arms. That didn't happen. A week later, we went back to pick up the car that was supposedly being worked on and none of the work had been done. So they said, just give us a couple hours and we'll get it done. So we waited four hours and then we finally picked up the car to which they told us had been fixed. However, it hadn't. Now I do also want to mention that you could say that a lot of these issues I'm also about to bring up could have been fixed if we looked at the Carfax, which we did. However, the Carfax they gave us was not the correct one. Looking back at it now, the one that we saw had a completely different VIN than the one that was on the car. Now, I know that's something you should probably check when you're looking at Carfax. However, when someone just hands you a Carfax for the 7 Series and you're driving the 7 Series, you would think they would be the same car. However, this dealership was so sketchy that nothing like that added up whatsoever. Back to the story, taking the car down to European Auto Garage in Knoxville to have it looked at to make sure everything was okay and to have the oil change, they pointed out more problems than what we even knew existed. I remember standing outside, it was a pretty cold day, and they came outside to tell us that the car was needing some more attention than what we originally thought. With that, they brought us a few quotes for some of the work that needed to be done that we didn't even know about and that hadn't been done originally when we picked up the car. The thrust arms needed to be completely replaced and fixed. On top of that, it needed an alignment to keep the tires from wearing out in a weird way. The car also needed a new headlight unit because the seal to keep moisture out was busted, so water and moisture were getting into the headlight and eventually it caused the angel light to burn out. Driving in front of the car, it made the entire thing look a bit lopsided, but it could also have been the paint. The front headlight damage was actually due to an accident that the car was in where it had also been completely repainted. Now, under normal lights and under normal sunshine, you really couldn't tell that the car had been repainted. However, once it got in the shop and you knew what to look at, you could tell how horribly this car had been repainted. It honestly looked like Jim Bob did it in his backyard with his friend Jose and it was terrible. There were runs in the paint, there were places where it hadn't been sanded down correctly, and there were honestly places where the original paint had just been left, and that looked pretty bad too. The car had a completely matte finish, which we thought was normal, however, nothing about the car's paint was original, 
nothing looked good and it just honestly looked like a blob of shit after you saw it. So when I say the car looked uneven, it could have either been from the burnt out angel light or it could have been from the paint job which was so awful once you noticed it you couldn't take your eye off of it. So a new headlight unit which you really wouldn't think would be too much, on a normal car it would be a few hundred dollars to get replaced. However, on the BMW 7 Series it came out to a total of $3,000 at an independent mechanic. What the hell? On top of that to get the paint back to its original factory condition it would have been a chump change of $10,000 or so. Really not too bad when you consider the car was originally worth $100,000, however pretty horrible when you consider that that was a third of what we paid for it. On top of that the 7 Series also was starting to show some early signs of valve stem issues which was really smoke bellowing out the exhaust. Some days it would be quite horrible and some days it wouldn't be too much at all but you always saw gray thick smoke coming out of the exhaust. Upon further inspection it appeared to be the valve stem starting to go so at that point after 92 days of owning the BMW 750Li we said goodbye and we got this. Not quite the 7 Series. Before I end this video I just want to say the 7 Series is one of the most comfortable, one of the most beautiful and one of the most fun cars to drive. That thing was a completely different beast from Sport Plus mode to Comfort mode and absolutely everything about that car was exquisite. There was no detail left unnoticed except the paint job on ours. So should you buy a 7 Series? I think yes. However, just make sure you have that manufacturer warranty on it. Overall though, I love the 7 Series and I really hope that we can have another one one day. However, next up to replace this is a Jaguar XJL with a certified pre-owned warranty and I think you can figure out why we would want that. Nevertheless guys, thanks for watching this video on the 7 Series. If you want more information about the 7 Series and what it was like to drive and what it was like to own, go ahead and check out the link down below in the description, the breakdown.xyz slash auto. It's going to have much more information about what it was like to own the 7 Series for those 92 days. It's a great article. It's really actually hilarious when you read into all of the details that we ran into with the 7 Series. However, that's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.